the Department of Defense needs a mobile and reliable energy source. Hence, Project Pele, an initiative to build nuclear reactors for the DOD's future needs. If you look at the new technologies that are coming online, whether it's drones or the new more powerful radar systems, you know, we don't fight wars by firing shotguns at each other anymore, right? That's, that's not the way it works now. Everything is highly technical. You need to have these very complicated communication systems, um, you know, all these huge radar systems that you've probably seen around the island that use just colossal amounts of energy. The reactor is aiming to ease energy delivery amid expectations for an increase in energy use on the battlefield over the next few decades, identified by a 2016 study by the Defense Science Board. The process of just moving millions and millions of gallons of fossil fuel across the ocean constantly is just not a practical solution. Across the ocean to places like Guam, though federal officials say there are no plans to bring a reactor here. Power is really challenging. You know, we, we've met with the folks at Guam Power Authority and they talked to us about, they recognize that they have a much harder challenge here than someone does running a power authority in the Kentucky's 48 states. And so something that can provide super reliable power 24-7 is just super useful in a place like this, or any island. But what would the footprint and manpower look like for a project like this? Waxman says the prototype in Idaho will have a fence that's about 200 yards in radius around it for the keep-out area, as manpower for the reactor requires two operators and other personnel for maintenance and other serious issues. We would not anticipate that we'd be increasing the DOD footprint and personnel on any of the sites that it's going to. The feds today also meeting with Guam senators on the matter. Only time will tell if local feedback will impact decisions on whether or not a nuclear reactor will be built here.